In this lesson, we'll look at how to create and manage page branches, submit them for review, and streamline your design approval process all without breaking a sweat or breaking your live site. Page branching and design approvals are available on enterprise plans. Okay, let's jump in and we'll cover how this works in six steps. We'll create a branch to safely design in, we'll design in the branch, we'll stage the branch, then we'll request design approval, our reviewer will review, leave comments, and request or approve changes, and finally, we'll merge the branch to the main site for publishing. Let's get started with creating a branch. I'm Curtis, and I'm a designer on our team. Greamer is our lead designer and manages our site. Okay, now when we look at the site access settings for our site, you'll notice I have a role called Associate Designer. This is a custom role that allows me to design on a page branch, but I need approval before I merge my branch back into the site. I'm a newer member of the team here, and we have lots of other designers, so this role gives us some guardrails as I grow into my role. And Greamer, as our lead designer, has the designer role. This role includes the permissions to do pretty much everything design-related, including to approve changes on branches. So we'll work together to make a few changes to this page. First, I'll create a page branch. A page branch gives me a separate copy of this page that I can safely design on without impacting the main site, even if the site is published while I'm working on my branch. And I can work on my branch while Bailey, Stacy, Greamer, Meg, and Hosanna are working on other branches. And I can even create a branch for a brand new page. When I'm done working on my branch, I can safely stage my page branch and submit it for review by Greamer before we merge the branch and then publish it to production. Okay, next, let's move on to designing on my branch. Once my branch is created, I'm ready to design without worrying about impacting the live site or stepping on the toes of my colleagues. So let's make some changes here. First, I need to increase the contrast ratio of the paragraph text color here in the Hero CTA by choosing another color. This makes it easier to read. And down here in the pricing grid, looks like a beautiful color gradient gone very wrong. So I'll just remove the color gradient. But now, the pricing cards don't look quite right and are hard to see. So I'll increase the contrast ratio of the pricing card by choosing a different background color. And that's better. And now, the pricing card buttons are a little hard to see, so let me change the button color to increase the contrast ratio and make those buttons stand out a little more. Okay, that should do it. Now, a few notes about working on a branch. Only one designer can work on a branch at a time, and each page can only have one branch at a time. So you'll need to merge or delete an existing branch before creating a new one for the same page. And just to clarify, with page branching, your changes are completely separate from the main site, giving you a safe space to explore and experiment. And if the design on the branch doesn't work out, we can just delete the branch. I can also check for any changes on the original page while I'm working in my branch. And if there are any changes on the main site to any of the classes we changed in my branch, we can incorporate those changes before submitting our branch for review. To check for changes, we just click on Check for Updates. All right, now it's time to stage my branch. And the idea here is to test these changes in a safe staging environment to make sure everything is working as expected. This is separate from your main Webflow staging domain or custom staging domain. It includes a snapshot of the full site, so you and your reviewers can see how your branch changes impact the rest of the main site, especially when you make class changes that will cascade to other parts of the site. So to stage my branch, I come up and click Stage Branch, and then Publish Branch. And again, you can see this is being published to a private staging site. And to see the staging environment with my page branch, I just click on this arrow. Okay, now that I've staged my branch and reviewed it to make sure it works as intended, Next, I'll send a request to Greamer to review my branch before I merge it into the main site. I come up to the branching menu and select Request Review, and I can add one or even multiple reviewers. But in our case, I just need Greamer to review my branch before I merge it. And I'll add a quick message describing the changes I made. If I'm curious about the status of the review, I can check that at the top here right next to the branching menu or in the Pages panel. If it says Pending Review, I know that Greamer hasn't gotten to it just yet. If it says Needs Changes, I know that Greamer has requested that I make some changes before we merge the branch. If it says Approved, I know that all of the reviewers have reviewed and approved the changes, and we're set to merge the branch back into the main site. 
Okay, Greamer, I just submitted my branch for review. Thank you, Curtis. I got your email. Now I'm in the branch Curtis just created. And when I open the site activity panel, I can get a closer look at all the changes he made. This one looks good. Yeah, this is okay. Ah, uh, so Curtis, one note here. What's up, Creamer? No, I'm actually leaving a comment. I just wanted to make sure that when you change a button class on this branch, it can affect all buttons with that class throughout the whole site, and we don't want that. So I would recommend a combo class here. But everything else looks solid, so I'll set the review to request changes. Thanks, Creamer. Okay, let's take a look at his comment. In the email, I go to the branch and let's see here. Uh, here it is down on this button. Okay, I just need to fix that with a combo class and we're good to go. I'll just let Greamer know that I've made the change and he'll set the review to approved. Now, what if another designer made changes to the original page while I was working in my branch? I can check for updates here and that will allow me to bring in any changes from the original page before I merge my branch. From here, the branch is ready to be merged to the main site. So to do that, we just come back up and click Merge, then Merge Branch. Now that our branch is merged, all of my changes will be included in the next full site publish. Okay, quick recap. First, we created a branch where we can safely design our page while other designers and editors work on other parts of the site. Then we staged our changes in a dedicated branch staging environment. We requested Greamer to review our branch changes, Greamer then reviewed my branch and requested a change. And finally, we made that change and merged the branch so that it was ready to publish to the world. And that's page branching and design approvals in Webflow.